Hello, my name is Harry Tomwadko. Welcome to our program. We have a TV show right here in GNN. The title of the show is Life. Interestingly enough, they discuss politics as well. In this show, which is Politics Today, Talk to Harry, we are discussing life, literally the concept, the meaning of life. Do we even understand that meaning of life? If I'm not mistaken, we describe, we define it more like taking advantage of life, uh, taking life for granted, and enjoying it to what life can bring rather than just celebrating life. Today in this show, we are talking about the actual just celebration of the concept of life. With us, we have Boy Saikon. Boy, you have in the first part of the show, you have given a, a very stern warning to those who do not take life seriously as life itself allowing politics, material benefit, power, authority to take over. The anal political analysis is not an easy game because it's in-depth study of the holistic approach of what the whole politics brings, which you have been very well entrenched in. Now you're saying stop in the name of life. Is yes, this correct? Yes, yes. One more time. Okay. Uh, uh, it's very true, Har uh, you know. Um, the sudden twist you know, uh, of direction in my life will have to be purely to take care of myself you know, uh, for the sake of my loved ones, my family, my grandchildren, and children. I take insulin for 20 years as a diabetic also. And uh, my doctors were very successful in controlling my blood sugar for 20 years. Mm -hmm. That's why they were surprised all of a sudden the increase in uh, creatinine. Oh, creatinine. So, um, but there is something that I, I learned. I listened to my body. Uh, when when uh, the diagnostic uh, section came from Manila, I ran to the States for uh, confirmation, well, uh, I never got so much tongue lashing from my doctors. Who is Filipino? Who is a Filipino, Dr. Uh, Versosa, uh, who is the medical chairman of the medical board of Trinitas, and said, we take care of you, but you still abuse what was left of what we were trying to mm. take care of, which is your kidney, your heart, and your lungs. So I said, Doc, what do I do? Go back to Manila, get your nephrology, tell them to put you in a test again, and uh, save that kidney. Nagtataka ako, I never thought kidneys could be saved. I thought they were replaced. Yes, uh, but what, what, what they meant was, if your kidney is 10, they'll stop it no, from deteriorating further. Oh, siempre. Yeah. So that's they, why they you will dialyze. Uh, yeah, that's why you dialyze. Now, there are chances that this one increases to 15%, five by, by 5%, 10% increase. But that's all it will get. Mm -mm. Okay? Now, the effort uh, on my part to get out of being tied to a machine three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays for four hours is what makes me you know, uh, agree you know, to the, the other change. option, the life changing the ability for a transplant. Where, uh, as I said, uh, I may you know, uh, enjoy a new lease of life without being tied to any machine. But uh, even there, I think uh, my lifestyle will change also. It has to. It has to, because I cannot anymore go back. No? I've experienced it. It's hard. Boy, you had thoughts about PhilHealth, the state of social nets, health nets here in the Philippines, because we don't seem to have any. I made a small remark on that in my introduction. Your thoughts on that matter? Well, uh, Yes, uh, PhilHealth uh, gave us uh, not a substantial discount no, 
on my hotel, on my bills, hospital mm -hmm. bills. Uh, uh, the senior citizen, uh, uh, 20 percent. That uh, helps. That helps a lot, no? Plus uh, the insurance that uh, mm -hmm. that we have, no? That, but uh, I realized no, in that hospital that many of our people die because they cannot afford what I can afford. And uh, here again, no, I my mind is working. <laughs> no, uh, Sabi ko uh, na uh, uh, You're back into the politics. And then uh, you see somebody there uh, crying because why? They don't have uh, 7,000 pesos, 9,000 pesos to pay for their dialysis. But the, the, the mother needs it. So what do you do? So you have to hand out a little no, to help mm. uh, this poor lady. Mm. So, uh, so even in your stress, even in your recovery, you are still sucked in by the poor economics and the social nets that we don't have. We don't have. We don't have really. Uh, and I think uh, fear health no, uh, must go beyond just that, that contribution requirement for non-senior and senior citizens. Okay. Uh, the government must uh, extend more uh, capability no? to extend ability no? for the indigents, no? for the poor of the poorest, uh, to survive in their ailment. Uh, I, I know you, weren't, you were taking it easy already, but in one of the visits of President Duterte in one of the military strongholds, uh, he was... Uh, he was disgusted to find out that the hospital was not only inadequately supplied, but did not have the medical competence to take care of our soldiers. He was so much so, sabi niya, he's releasing immediately 100 million for that specific hospital to be built overnight. Yes. Mina Madalina. How do you feel about that? Well, Ikaw nakikita mo kasi now, na expose ke. During that encounter in Sulu, a young officer was shot in the leg. Oh, Union, that's the one. All what he needed was to be airlifted and to have transfusion of blood for him to live. No matai. He died because they could not, they don't have the, the blood no, to, uh. to transfuse him with. They don't have no, the necessary medical. So much so, he even gave up the presidential plane. The presidential yacht, turn it into a navy ship, navy uh, ship yeah. uh, a hospital ship. Yeah, so uh, it's it's really uh, to me, you know, an eye opener that at least here is a president, though he's micromanaging, no, the military, mm -hmm. but in so doing, you now discover the long lasting running problems, no, of the establishment. Imagine you have a military, you engage them to war. Uh, number one, they're short of bullets. Number two, they have no medical backup. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, what is their chances for life? Uh, to live, uh, to be with their family. Mm. So, this is this, this Larry, no, uh, Harry. We have no, uh, uh, to realize that here is a president. Many hates his guts. But he has to be gutsy. He has no choice. He has no choice because uh, uh, drugs is, to me, pandemic. It's an epidemic already. Right now, yes. It is. Pandemic nga ngayon. Epidemic Imagine nga during ngayon. the time of Nino, of Noy Noy, in all his five State of the Nation address, not once. He, he did not even mention a you sentence. You brought that up before to me, I yeah, remember. Yeah, so I said, uh, now that now he is doing all of these things, now he gets criticized, no, for uh, the uh, the drug killing, extrajudicial. Extrajudicial. He, he they don't even understand what they're talking about extrajudicial, when uh, these people feeds our grade school students with drugs. Which is what's happening. It is because it's being sold into the private schools, not only private uh, but public schools. Public schools. Oh, mababa na ngayon, 20 pesos na lang daw. Pero buti oh. na lang, tumaas na uli. Ano? Buti na lang. Oh, but uh, 
Uh, these, these are things that, as I said, at the other side of the fence, I, I feel better. I don't have to think about the politics because, as I said, here is a president who is putting his heart and soul and life no? into now, correcting all of these ills. The president is not a spring chicken. He's 71 turning 72. Meron, he already announced, may minsan na pap, papakaran na, may nararandaman siya, pero kaya niya naman. Yung pagmamahal niya sa bayan, tsaka sa posisyon niya na gusto niyang uh, iangat ang taong bayan, ay may, gagawin niya, Ms. Kipa, paano? Anong payo mo sa kanya? And for that um, matter, you have many political friends, many of them, who are giving themselves to the country. Rafi Alunan, even though he did not win the Senate, it did not stop him from serving yes, the country. Yes, yes. He's out there with our former President Ramos. Yes, yes. In his age, in his older age, or senior age of 83, 84, at uh, tumutulong pa rin eh. Yes, ano ang payo mo naman sa kanila, sa mga uh, well, in the thick of the political realm? Uh, anong payo mo I, sa I, I will address... Uh, President Duterte as my leader, no? Okay. He is to me a leader more than a president. Wag po kayong magkaroon masyado ng mental stress. Because it's something that you will never realize what effect it will have on your internal organs. Is there such a thing of relief of mental stress? Uh, maybe kung, that means maybe drinking is not too bad. Na, na, napapansin ko lang sa kanya. I don't know if it's true, no, but he sleeps too too late. Oh, gabi nga eh. Masyado. Yeah, pero no? ibang ano niya at ibang... Ang time clock niya. Iba yung uh, time clock. Time pero, eh. pero yung time clock nga na yun, hindi pwedeng ikaw ang gumawa nun. You have to command that time clock to go to allow the body to rest. Uh, so that, as I said, he will not encounter the same problems that I encountered. Mm. Yung bang, nakahiga ka nga, pero gising yung utak, utak mo. mo. At alam ko, sa pagmamahal niya doon sa kanyang ginagawang trabaho, eh, hindi isat, nakakatulog yun ng... I-shut off naman niya, bigyan niya ng pagkakataon, at there is another time for the next day. Pero, you have suffered this for years. Is it even possible to turn it off? Uh... Ngayon, ngayon nakikita mo. Ngayon ko nakikita na pwede. Pa, pwede. Pero, you have to suffer the consequence first. Before you realize, Before you realize it, actually, it. that's yes. which because exist. On my first dialysis, this is, was all where it unfolded. Eh. When I was gasping for a... Oh, you had a, you had a complication. Three hours and 50 minutes gasping for air. Nagkagulo na doon sa... Center of Asia, because this is the first time they encountered uh, a, a problem like this. Now uh, they realized that I was being, I had an asthma attack mm -hmm. when the machine was connected to me. Ah, uh, hindi na pwede itigil. Uh, hindi na pwede itigil. Ako naman, I was counting every breath, no, and everything was unfolding. I said, why did I abuse? Ganito pala yung sufferings. To the point that I was so tired, I said, gusto ko nalang magpahinga. Uh, kung hindi ako magising, thank you nalang, Lord. So yung, the on-off switch is what you're saying actually exists. Kaya lang, it's, hindi it's, it's, mo it's, makita. It's fear-driven eh. Ayun. It's fear-driven. After you encounter something in your life that you yourself no, will fear, will fear, then said everything pala can be turned off. So yun ang payo mo sa presidente, learn no. to sleep no. without oh, oh, oh. the mental at least, anguish at and least, stress. At least that six hours sleep for him, no total sleep for him. Uh, How about people who are running after money? after wealth for themselves, for their family, running after success. Sigurado, that's just as bad. Uh, this is not only about politics. This is about your life and your life, you know, where you are indulged in, as I said, uh, economic wealth building, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
teachers, no? yes. professional doctors. Uh, everybody must know how to correct, okay, and turn off that switch. At that point, because you have all. Okay, I have a friend. I will not put his name. He has all the money in the world. He can't enjoy it. <laughs> because now his kidney gave up. Well, then the know. liver is giving up. No? With all they went money. to Singapore. They went to everywhere, everywhere in the world. He's got billions of dollars. Well, no more. Yeah. Because why? You did not turn that switch. You overextended the capacity of our body to take that pressure. Boy, we are at the end of the program. A one last minute message for our viewer, a short message. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Harry, you know, for uh, this opportunity to all your uh, viewers and to all your followers, my friends and uh, even my enemies. Let us consider that the value of life is very important. We must take care of ourselves. We must now discover, even before we suffer the consequences of any you know, trage tragedy, to switch off and rest our body and mind. Uh, it will be good for you and your family, your children, grandchildren. So, please, you know, God is kind to us. God has given us everything in life. Take care of it. And that's the most that we can give back. Is take care of what was given to us. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, no more need be said. I think he said it all. The problem is, again, Tayo, uh, we become fatalistic because our objective surpass our ability to understand our present situation. But then again, this is what drives profit, the economy, countries, oligarchs. I don't know what you want to call them. But it does not necessarily mean it is life. Again, we'd like to end the program very much the same way we started it. No more, no plus, no minuses, no capital letters, no bold whatever, just the word life. Maraming salamat po. Thank you very Thank much, you. boy. Thank you. So, magbe break ka muna. Ikaw din, ha? You are what you watch.